Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. This week, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I utilize my faith planners. I've done videos on my faith planners before. I've done a plan with me, kind of like really a decorate with me in this planner. But um, today, Tuesday, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I use my Recollections Faith Planner. And then on Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how I use my All Glam Planner from Walmart, which I use for scripture writing. And this is the one that I'm going to show you guys on Thursday. But this one, I'm going to show you guys um, how I do my faith planning journaling in here so to do that i use a number of things i have the actual faith planner in and of itself it says faith blessed love and peace and holographic rainbow love it you can get this from michael's um can't remember the price but i'll leave a link down below so you can get it at and then i also always have a journal of some sort so right now i'm using this one this is actually my second one that i'm using i used up my first one and I wish I could grab it for you guys. Let's see. No, I don't think I can grab it for you guys. It's too far for me to grab it. But um, this is my second one. The first one looked just like this. It just was a different design. But um, I have that. Then I need my pen. So I use a number of pens. So... I've been enjoying the actual Paper Mate Ink Joy pens quite a lot. I have four of them right now. Um, I always have the black one on hand. I always use the black one, but I always change up the color depending on the color scheme I'm going for for the week. And then I use these two in the actual journal as well as a blue ink pen. So yeah, this pen is just a basic pen that I you can get these either at your local discount store or Dollar Tree. They're G-Flex oil gel pens. They're really good pens. This is a 0.7 millimeter pen. They're all 0.7. You guys know I love my 0.7 millimeter pens. And then I also need my phone because, well, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, that was from that. But, yeah, I also need my phone because I do use the Holy Bible app. So, a lot of you guys know that I used to use, um, or I still do read the Our Daily Bread and the In Touch Ministry devotionals. I'm going to grab that. So every morning I make sure to do a devotional and these are the devotionals here, the Our Daily Bread and then the In Touch. I'm not going to lie, I have not touched these you guys in over three months. I think the last time I did an In Touch or uh, Our Daily Bread was maybe back in June, possibly May. I just haven't been doing them as often. I mentioned in um, my kind of what's been going on video why I haven't and what's been going on with me. Um, but I have been making sure, however, if I'm not doing those that I do a devotional plan on the Holy Bible app and I'll show you guys that quickly so here's my little kind of like church folder the Bible app the Bible hub blue letter Bible and then Bible lens which is actually a photography app that goes with Bible app which is from you version but um, I just do reading plans so right now I started the Deborah anointing um, on Monday so yeah we started that and these are all the plans that I've completed I just fended it up, fend it up. <laughs> I just finished up finding rest or find rest by Shanti Feltan. I'm I'm not sure if this is gonna show you guys. Yeah, I just finished up this reading plan. It was a really good one. But these are the plans that I've completed. I've done some with some of the ladies in the group. I've done a lot on my own. But yeah, so this is the current one I'm doing, the Deborah anointing, and um yeah, so I make sure to have a reading plan devotional plan, whatever you want to call it, that I'm doing from the Holy Bible app. So the first thing that I do before even diving into this planner is I use this journal here, and I'm going to open it up so you guys can see. Um, this is basically how it goes. What I do is, let me go back to the front. Yeah, I don't have any in here, but um, I guess here, this was August 7th. Um, I was doing the Grace, Finding Your Grace plan with uh, T.D. Jakes and this the subtitle was without your love for that day and then what I do is at the top for the first point I should probably zoom in for you guys <laughs> that would probably make more sense but for the first point that I write is ooh, focus okay the first point that I write is these scriptures so most of the time it's always just 
one scripture but for this plan there were more than one so i write down the scriptures that i'm going to be reading from the scriptures that are on the plan that they tell me to read then as i read through the devotional i write down key points things that speak out to me things that i'm getting from the devotional itself now sometimes i take it further and i actually take my time reading these scriptures and write down my points as well but um, I haven't been doing that lately either. But that's what I use this for. So I use this for that. I was doing Bad Girls Rehab Sexual Sin. I talked about that in um, my update video. Carrie Jo Bay, Hear Your Lands. Todd Delaney's A Worshipper's Heart. Fine. And this is again the fine rest. So like I said, I write down the actual devotional. I write down the subtitle, I guess, or topic for that devotional for that day, the scripture, and then all of my points, bulleting it, arrows, hearts, however you want to do it. So that's pretty much how I do it. So then once I'm done with that, let me just zoom back out for you guys. So once I'm done putting my notes in here, and sorry about that, depending on how many notes I have. So what I forgot to mention was the pens that I use, like I said, are these pens in here. So I'll use this. This is a perfect example. Okay, so I use this to write the date and the actual title of or name of the devotional. I use my blue pen to write down my notes. I use the same pen to make bullet points. And I use this pen only when there's like a subtopic to write. Only because this ink is running out. Like really running out, you guys. Let's see how much ink. That's all I have left. And I'm really trying to just get rid of it so I can use the other one. Because I bought these two pens um, individually, and then I ended up buying the full pack. So I want to get rid of these two individual colors so I can use the actual pack. But I use those, these three pens, and here to do my notes. So I'm going to use this one as a perfect example because I have a lot of notes here, right? So then what I do is, that was August 16th. I'm going to flip to August 16th. Um... So whatever my color scheme is for that week is what I go with. So I was going with yellow, pinks, and greens. I used a Sharpie pen, a Sharpie art pen to do this, not the uh, Ink Joy pen. So I used a Sharpie art pen. And normally how I set this up is at the top, I have somewhere on the sideboard, I normally have some things that I want to pray for and then some to-dos for that week. And then I just put stickers. I use the gratitude section daily. So I do Monday through Saturday because Sundays I'm in church. And I just write down things I'm thankful for. These two boxes I used to just decorate with stickers. Like you can see here. I haven't done it in a while. But I normally just decorate with stickers. And then on this side I have my self-improvement kind of goals. Which are my devotional readings, gratitude, and intentional prayer. Which is when I'm being intentional about the things over here that I need to pray for. Bible study, which is when I study the Bible. And then read, which is when I'm reading either one of the books that I'm reading that are like Christian-based books. But the 16th, so here we go. It's right here. So I'm going to fold this in half and zoom in. Get that to focus. Okay. So like I said, August 16th, August 16th, take the lid off. So the scripture is... Read Matthew 9, 37 to 38. Here's Matthew 37 to 38. Um, I'm not sure if this is the whole scripture, but normally if it's too long of a scripture, I write down the key part of that scripture that like, I focus on, if that makes sense. Um, let me see. I'm just opening up the Holy Bible app to double check because I don't want to tell you guys the wrong information of how I go about my method. But this is Matthew... Matthew 9, 37, 38. Okay, so that's actually the whole scripture. So this is the whole scripture of 37 to 38. So, yeah. But normally if it's like a massive scripture, I won't write the whole scripture out. Like right here. I have 1 Corinthians 6, 12 to 20. But I only wrote down verses 18 to 19. But anyway, I wrote the scripture. I put something down just to be decorative. And then I put down this so that I know it's breaking into my actual notes. So as you can see, I only have three bullet points. But here I have a page full of notes. So I only write down the key things that I want to remember when I don't want to take the time to take out my journal. But I just want to look through the actual planner. Um, and I do that. And then I check off if I pray. And when I say that, I mean if I did a morning prayer um, for prayed with my son before school, and that day I clearly didn't. <laughs> but, yeah. 
So flipping to this week, here is my setup for this week right here. Now I'm saying Tuesday, but today is actually Monday the 17th. As I'm recording this, you will see this on Tuesday the 18th. So that's why Tuesday is blank. Um, but basically, this week I wanted to just go with greens, oranges, kind of like that um, yellow color. And I really just wanted to use this washi tape. So I used these stickers at the top. These are stickers I got from a, a tea shop. Um, I wrote my scripture down, which was Ephesians 2 8, which I used the gel pen for that, which I was just, I really wanted to just use this color. No other reason. This His Love and This Heart are from the Recollections Faith stickers. This principle as well. And then I wrote my bullet points. And then I have checked off because I did pray this morning with my son as we were walking to school. These, this sticker here is from the American Crafts Faith Sticker Pack. This is from the Mombi Faith Sticker Pack, the original one. This is also from the Faith Sticker Pack from American Crafts. Washi tape I got off of Etsy. This washi tape I got from Dollar Tree. And then this skinny washi here I got off of Amazon. I wrote down what I was thankful for. And I said sweet potato pie because I did go this morning to get me a pie from shop right and it was so good so i just had to thank the lord for that i'm grateful for sweet potato pie just saying um and then i've already done devotional and gratitude as you can see intentional prayer i try to stick to but i just you know intentional prayer and bible study still has been slipping out of my grip and i haven't been reading as much so i'm gonna try to get all of these done today just because but yeah that is pretty much it so what i'm going to show you guys now um is basically how I do it now what I'm not gonna do is I'm not going to take my notes because I want to make sure that I do it tomorrow but I will um, write the scripture out and show you guys how I place a sticker similar to how I place stickers down here and for the scriptures so I'm gonna fold this in here make sure none of my pages are folded in this paper clip I got off of Etsy shop it's just a hill and it's so cute so let's zoom in not that close so here's for the 18th let's just get this to focus like i said i'm doing the bar anointing and the 18th is here so the scripture for that is ecclesiastes 3 and 1 so i'm going to open up the actual scripture itself ecclesiastes 3 and 1 i'm writing it in the new king james translation you guys know i am a lover of the new king james so it says to everything there is a season a time for every purpose under heaven so i'm just going to write that and I'm going to try to write this without messing up the camera. So, to everything. And my writing is not always perfect. And that's what I love about this is that it doesn't have to be perfect, like, at all. And depending on how long the scripture is, sometimes I write big and sometimes I will write small. Um, it really just depends, but this one is so short. So, so everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose. Under heaven. That's the scripture. So I'm not going to read the actual devotional, but... What I would do in my journal, which I can actually show you guys how I do that in my journal. So I'm going to flip to the blank page quickly and move this out before I continue. So here's a blank day. I take this teal, like I said, and I write the date. So that's 918. 18. And I, I'm going to be writing a little bit sideways because I have the tripod in front of me. Um, then I'm going to write the Deborah anointing because that's the devotional that I'm doing. The Deborah anointing. And this is actually from Michelle McLean Walters. I freaking love this lady, you guys. I put two bullet points so that I can write with my pen. Um, read Ecclesiastes. And I'm going to shorten this because I'm not going to write the whole name. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. That's just the bullet point for that. Um, and then that's when I start my notes, right? So as I said, for the actual topic, it says times and seasons of the call. 
So I'm just going to write that here. Of the call. So now I'm set up for tomorrow. So I just use these three pens like I showed you guys. The pen to write down the actual notes. The teal to write down the title, the bullet points, and my date. And then the magenta to write down the subtopic. Okay. And so that's how I set it up. Okay. So going back, because I don't want to say that I read it and I didn't. <laughs> and then I would obviously read and take my notes. So going back to this. So I have the scripture written down. To, to everything there is a season. A time for every purpose. Okay, so let me just quickly show you guys her books. Because I love Michelle McLean Walters. I own all of her books. So, we have the Esther Anointing, which is actually another, is one of the books that inspired me to start Daughter of Increase. Um, outside of the calling of God, obviously. But it's Becoming a Woman of Prayer, Courage, and Influence. This is the actual book for the Deborah Anointing that goes with this depot. I have yet to read it, but it's encouraging i'm sorry embracing the call to be a woman of wisdom and discernment she has the anna anointing which looks like this and it's become a woman of boldness power and strength and the latest one she came out with this year actually is the ruth anointing and it's becoming a woman of faith virtue and destiny i think this came out this year or last year whenever we were studying ruth is when this came out which i thought was awesome but i only read this one so i will definitely be reading the Deborah Anointing next. Yeah, um, I love her books. Michelle McLean Walter books are amazing. But anyway, sidetracking back to this so I can show you guys my process. Um, so as you guys can see, I already wrote the scripture down. So now what I have to do is pick a sticker to put down. So I have a bunch of stickers, like a bunch of faith stickers, you guys. Um, I have the Carpe Diem one. This is the faith tablet sticker sheet. This is the regular size. They also have a mini. Then, I have the Paper Studio ones, which are from Agenda 52, Faith Foiled, and then the Sunday Foiled ones. Like I said, I have the Recollections Faith one as well. Recollections Faith. This is the one that's currently being used, and I've used it up. They always come with two sheets. I just finished up one of these sheets today. So, yeah. Right. Let's see. I have another paper studio one. And then I have my mommy ones, which are the me and my big ideas. I have two of the faith regular um, sizes, classic, I guess. This one is the one being used right now, which is... These are like all the stickers I have left from this pack. I'm trying to finish up this pack before I really dive into the other one. Then I have the mini version. Then I have the American Crafts faith sticker book. So... I literally just find a sticker that goes with my color scheme. So I'm going to look at, let's see, where did it go? I don't even know where it went. Okay, so I'm going to look at the Recollections one first. And this can get messy, you guys, because I just like to have fun with this. So I kind of look here to see if there's a color that I want to use. Um... And there's really not. I try not to use the same color stickers as I'm using to write with. So it doesn't like bounce off each other. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the Y. I'm going to just peel that up. It's Y and it's in this nice pretty like sky blue. But we'll see. Because I need to actually write the scripture down first. Um, let's see if I could find a sticker to write on. I could use this one, but I don't want to. <laughs> this is like the the tough part is like finding stickers for your notes and stuff because I have so many. Okay, I'm going to use pink. So I'm using the American Crab sticker book. And I'm going to use this sticker here, this one right here, because it's going to match with that pink and it's going to tie in with that pink. I like to just use colors that allow everything to like balance out and tie in. So I try to center it as best as I can. Nothing extreme. 
right? And it's Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, so I'm just going to shorthand the name. E-C-C-L 3, 1. So I have that written down. Then I just like to use a decorative sticker when I have space. And what I am going to do, if I can find it, is go into my classic faith stickers from Happy Planner. Just because, like I said, I'm running low on these stickers. And I try to use these stickers up before going into the other one. Hmm. Not sure... I might use this and so that way I can actually have something going across like his love and I'm going to put something here. I'm not sure what. Who knows. But I'm just going to stick this and symbol. Right. I don't try to make it perfect either. I just, I don't know. If you're a planner person, you know. Sometimes you like it perfect when you try not to make it perfect. So I have that down. Now I have to put something here, like I said, and I don't think that blue is going to work because I don't have any more blue hair. Um, we have how, why, who, where, when. This was what? Timeline, summaries are gone, questions. Trying to figure out. You know what? I'm going to put this color here. It says application. And I'm just going to stick it here. Then I'm just going to draw a heart. And that's where I start my notes at. So that's pretty much it. I mean, my, like I said, my desk gets messy. Everything gets messy because I just like to have fun and make it as interactive and fun as possible. Let's zoom out. But that is pretty much how that goes. So... Like I said, that's how I set it up. I have the scriptures at the top. And I'll show you guys a blank page so you guys can see. So, zooming in. At the top it says daily verse. So this is where you would write your verse. Now, in the center it has scripture study. To this day, I said it in the previous videos, I don't know what that's for. So I just block it off with washi tape. Then it says observations. And then I prayed today. So all that I do is... For some reason, on the left-hand side, this, like, the words are really faded compared to here. So, what I really do is, um, I kind of alternate. Let me show you guys. In a previous week. I kind of stagger how I do. Okay, I'll show you guys this one. I stagger where I have the scriptures at just because I like the way it looks, um, a lot and sometimes like I said I will cover up the section that says daily verse and sometimes I won't so here I did not cover it up I just wrote under it and this one I covered it up so it really just depends there's no like set kind of flow but um yeah I'll flip through September what it looks like so for the first few days um September didn't start until a Saturday so I just put some stickers here all over so this one says we're all just walking each other home. Be a light and sorry, be a light to the world. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Be an encourager, friend. What is done in love is done well. And then I started my week. Here was I believe this was two weeks ago. I went with orange, pinks, purples, and red. Kind of like that with pops of yellow. I really just liked I really just liked this color scheme and it went well with this washi date. This week, I went blue madness with bits of pink. <laughs> and I use holographic stickers here. And here's this week. I'm going with greens, oranges, pops of pinks, 
and mustard that's pretty much it but yeah that's how I do that and then I will clip my weeks together so that I can easily flip between the week and the corresponding month and um yeah that's pretty much how I use my recollections base planner I use it in conjunction with a journal and the Holy Bible app, which is on my phone. You can use the Holy Bible app on your computer, your tablet, whatever the case may be. But I use it on my phone. So that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. If you guys want to see more videos where I'm actually doing, like, my devotional time using this, let me know. Because I know a lot of you guys are interested in me doing more study with me. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing devotional with me videos, which will kind of be like a vlogging style format. Um, and then on Thursday, I will walk you guys how I utilize and use this puppy because she's gorgeous. And it's not a happy planner, like I said. It's an all-glam planner from Walmart. Everything in here is from Walmart. So, yeah, you'll see. It's literally like a dupe to the happy planner. And I've had a happy planner before, so I know the differences. And I would say that's pretty comparable. But, yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.